Finally, I went to the head of the homeowner association. I asked him straight out, am I allowed to sell? He said, yes. I said, great, I want to sell. He said, you can't. That doesn't make sense. I said, that doesn't make sense. He said, you are allowed to sell, but in order to sell, you need a buyer, and buyers can't buy. Why can't they buy? I said, why can't they buy? He said, they're allowed to. They just aren't able to. Lenders won't finance a loan for a condominium unless 70% of the units are owner-occupied. Some owners are subletting to renters. The renters are occupying, but the renters aren't owners. I said, great, I want to sublet. He said, you can't. Uh, how come they can and you can't? I said, how come they can and I can't? He said, because they already did. The ratio of renters got too high, so we passed a regulation last December. No new subletting. I said, is that why some units are vacant? They look empty. He said, they are not vacant, they are owned. Although their owners might not be easily located. Are those units allowed to be sold? I said, are those units allowed to be sold? He said, the abandoned units are allowed to be sold, but they cannot be purchased. No unit can be financed when more than 15% of the units are more than 30 days late on their homeowner dues. I said, great, I'll pay all the delinquent homeowner dues. I'm sure he said no. I said, wait, before you say no, try this. I will bribe the owners of the non-vacant condos to occupy their units long enough for the lenders to see they are occupied. And wait, before you say no, if the owners don't want to come back, I'll get homeless people to buy the non-vacant condos for $1 each and move in so they will be owner-occupied. And wait, before you say no, I'll pay the homeowner dues on the non-vacant, owner-occupied, homeless-occupied units for a month in advance. I just want to get out of my terrible mortgage. I want to walk away and let someone else deal with the pain. He said, you might be able to do that, but you won't be allowed to do that. Well, sis, I'm not exactly your real estate mentor, but I think you'll find the pros at the convention center. Meet with lenders, representatives from all the major banks. You want to hurry down next week before the market tanks. Pay stubs, budget, hardship letter. You can send it once, but twice is better. Facts, just the facts. Tax returns with all the pages. Self-employment, profit statements, facts. Just the facts. Send it again. Send it again. Tax and insurance on the property. Your IRS 4506T. Facts. Just the facts. Recent statements from your bank. With your signed and dated Dodd Frank. Facts. Just the facts. Send it again. Send it again.